क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस फ्रॉम इकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल सी न्यूमेरिकल बेस्ड ऑन अल्ट्रासोनिक वेव सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विद न्यूमेरिकल नंबर 2 In numerical number two, we have two ships are placed at a certain distance. An ultrasonic signal of frequency 50 kilohertz is sent from one ship to the another by two routes. First route through the water, and second that is through the atmosphere. The difference between time interval for receiving the signal at other ship is two seconds. if the velocity of sound in atmosphere and in sea water is 348 meter per second and 1392 meter per second respectively find the distance between two ships also find the time taken by signal to travel through the water so let us visualize the condition first here we have our two ships let us say a and b they are placed at certain distance so distance we can say this is the atmosphere so distance in atmosphere and we'll say this is the distance in sea water the ultrasonic wave passing through the atmosphere and through the sea water given is the velocity of sound in atmosphere that is 348 meter per second so we'll write here velocity in atmosphere 348 meter per second and the velocity of sound wave in sea water that is vsw sea water is equal to 1392 meter per second and the time interval delta t is 2 seconds now here we have to find out what is the distance between these two ships that is d and time taken to reach the signal from other ship through the sea water so we'll write here p s w that is time taken by signal through the sea water so these are the two quantities that we are going to find now we know velocity is equal to distance upon time here we have distance is equal to velocity into time so we have first distance that is through the atmosphere so we'll write here distance through atmosphere is equal to velocity of sound wave in atmosphere into time taken in atmosphere let us say equation number 1 now we will consider distance through the sea water so dsw is equal to velocity of sound wave in sea water into time taken in sea water this is equation number 2 let us divide equation 1 by 2 then we have distance in atmosphere upon distance in sea water is equal to velocity in atmosphere into time in atmosphere upon velocity in sea water into time in sea water but from the diagram from the diagram we can say the distance through the atmosphere and distance through the sea water is exactly same so here we have d atmosphere is equal to d sea water means here we can write one which is equal to v atmosphere upon v sea water into t atmosphere upon t sea water now we can find out t atmosphere upon time in sea water is equal to that is velocity in sea water 
upon velocity in atmosphere. We know the value of velocity in seawater that is 1392 meter per second upon velocity in atmosphere is 348 meter per second. If we solve this, we will get here 4 by 1. Means from this equation, we can write T atmosphere is equal to 4 times T in seawater. Let us say equation number 3. Here we have T in atmosphere is equal to 4 times T in seawater. It means time in atmosphere is more than the seawater. So we'll write here time in atmosphere is greater than time in seawater. So the time interval is already given that is delta T is equal to 2. So this is the time interval between receiving the signal through the seawater and the atmosphere. So here we can write time in atmosphere minus time in seawater is equal to 2. Let us say equation number 4. Now from this equation we can write time in atmosphere is equal to 4 times time in seawater minus time in seawater, which is equal to 2. So we'll write here 3t seawater is equal to 2. Hence, time in seawater is equal to 2 by 3, which is equal to 0 0.67. It's a time, so its unit is seconds. Time in seawater is equal to 0 0.67 seconds. Now we have to find out what is the distance between these two ships. Now we have a formula that is distance in seawater is equal to velocity in seawater into time in seawater. We know the value of velocity in seawater that is 1392 meter per second. Time in seawater is 0.67 seconds. So after solving this, we will have answer that is 932 and unit will be meter. So here we have distance between the two ships is 932 meters. So in this way, by using eco sounding formulas, we can find out the distance between two ships. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and please subscribe Ikeda.